Hi, my name is Will Carmack. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, and today I'll be breaking down the Light Wrap plugin from Footage Crate. It's free, it's amazing, and as a professional animator, I've been using it recently to blend in some really sexy stuff. Basically, light wrapping is when you take the pixels of the fake background you've created and you blend it into the foreground of whatever piece is in front of it. So if I film myself against a green screen and then I'm using like a waterfall as a background, my the edges of me on the green screen are clearly not gonna look like I'm in front of a waterfall. And so you use light wrap to make it look like the waterfall behind you, the act it's affecting the pixels of your silhouette, making everything look like it's supposed to be there and was all filmed by one camera. First things first, let me show you where you find this godsend of a plugin. Thank you, footage crate. Or maybe it's called production crate. I'm so bad, I'm such a bad, loyal customer. Or maybe I'm so loyal, I've been with them long enough to know that it used to be called footage crate. I don't know, whatever. Okay, so this is super important. So if you go to visual effects and motion elements at the top here, you'll notice at the bottom there's an after effects plus option. You'll see that, uh, oh shit. You'll see that, uh, Production Crate has a scripts and plugins thing. Let's click on that. And then bam, they have tons of amazing plugins, but the one we're talking about today is Light Wrap. And my God, you can see here with the graphic what it does, right? Like this purple background is blending onto this After Effects PNG so perfectly and beautifully. And of course, from there, you click this blue text, bam, and then you download it like right here, but I've already downloaded it, so now I'll break down the whole plugin for you. So here we have an After Effects, uh, like kind of a reference piece of a project I shot recently, where I put me and my friend Lexi into like seven Japanese paintings from the 1800s, but I turned it all into a sci-fi nerdy anime video game. <laughs> So take it from me, the professional. And so I'm gonna be using just a random scene from that to show you how I used it, because I used this plugin to make all of the characters in that video look like they were shot in that scene. Even though it was a 17, uh, like a 400 year old Japanese painting from the 1800s. Okay, okay, so here we go. We're gonna try and blend Laura here into the background. So if we come up to the effects and presets panel and type in crate, it will show up as Crate's Light Wrap. We'll just drag that onto Laura, because this is Laura Croft, by the way. And up here in the controls panel, you'll see all these options, and I swear to God, it's super easy. First and foremost is background layer. This is you're choosing the plugin to look at the layer you want wrapped around your subject. So in this matter of fact, we want these hills, these loading hills, to blend onto Laura. And so uh, what we're gonna do with the crate light wrap is the background layer, we're gonna do loading hills and watch. It's super cool and it's gonna happen instantly. Bam, oh, it's so good. So immediately she's already blended really well into the background here. Let me unsolo all of this stuff. And all right, let's zoom in. So this is with crate light, right? Oh, fuck, I can't talk. I'm just excited. This is with it, without it, with it, without it. Now that's good, but let me show you how we fine tune these things here. Um, So you can notice how now, there's the kind of like these weird tiger stripes that go through it. Uh, we can change the background blur. So we can crank it up to look more natural and spread out, like around 20. Or if we bring it down, you see exactly what's happening. It's literally just turning your subject kind of transparent, so it's looking at the background behind it. So if we don't crank up the background blur, it's just gonna look like your thing is completely uh, see-through. Now, um, if we don't want these like tiger stripe vibes to go so far into her body, Body, we can turn down the wrap width, which is super nice. And so you can see uh, how hard the edges look without light wrap. And then with wrap width, we can just slowly expand it onto our subject like so. Love that. And again, background blur, it's basically just like, you just wanna crank that up, trust me. Um, exposure, pretty self-explanatory. Um, if we think maybe it needs a little bit brighter of a look, we just crank up exposure and you'll see that the sides there will just get bright. Usually you don't wanna crank it up too bright because then it stops looking like the actual pixels from the background, right? So we undo that. Tint and saturation, pretty obvious. It just makes the colors that are now being transferred onto your subject brighter and uh, more saturated. Fun! <laughs> And if you crank the exposure up, it would just look wild. Wrap width, ooh, nuts. Oh, by the way, I'll come back to this later, but notice how the sky isn't affecting her right here. All right, fun. Let me reset that and bring back the loading hills. Again, we'll crank up the background blur 
We'll turn down the wrap width. Ooh, like I like that a lot. Let's turn the exposure up a little bit. And luminance bias is like once you've customized it exactly how you like, this turns down the shadows and exclusively leaves this on the highlights. So by turning this up, you're applying um, the wrap width to your brighter elements. So you can basically use this as a final remark, like touch. Like I wouldn't touch this until you've fine tuned your custom animation up top here. This is like your overall change. But I'm just gonna leave it at zero and you can ignore exposure and gamma. I've never used it Pre mode background is interesting. So basically right now This has turned your Laura layer kind of transparent But if you turn pre mode background on it stops being transparent and you will actually have to crank up everything way higher To notice the effects that you want um, because now it's not actually like see-through So if we uncheck that you'll see like what's happening here hard to explain But you usually don't check this box like I, I rarely have ever done that. So bam, that's like the explanation of the control panel of Crate Light Wrap. Isn't it amazing? Okay, earlier I mentioned how like when I select the loading hills uh, and I crank up the exposure mount, let's see. It's not choosing the sky, so that's frustrating, right? So what we can actually do is um, I'll just change the background layer to none and we can change this sky and loading hills. And um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to select them, duplicate it, and then pre-compose and name it Laura Light Wrap. Bam. So what we've done is just created that those two layers as one, but I'm going to actually make it invisible. I'll just bring this down to the bottom. And so now if we select the Laura layer and go to Crates Light Wrap, we can select Laura Light Wrap. And now you can see that it's taking the pixels from the sky and the hill. And what's nice is our sky and our hill are still independently one layer. So that's super fun. And then of course, from here, we can crank the background blur up, drag down the wrap, the wrap width. Ooh. Um, maybe even bring down the exposure, why not? Sometimes these light wrap techniques are best if they're just subtle. And you know what, that looks pretty good. Um, there are blend modes, I always leave, leave it on screen, but uh, I'll just run through really quick and you can see what happens. Really don't know how to explain any of it, but screen is my favorite. And now look at that. So that's with great light wrap, without it, with it, without it. And so now you can understand why I would use this to want to blend all of my subjects into a scene. Like anytime you're using something on top of a green screen, just use this free plugin. It literally adds so much pop. I'll do just one more quick example. So the loading hills here could totally use uh, a light wrap here because the edges are so dark compared to the sky. So if I click on loading hills, grab crates, light wrap, let's throw it on there. Oh, I threw it on the sky. JK, let, oh gosh, let me throw it on the hills. I don't know why I did that. All right, and so the hills layer, if I now select, select the background layer as loading sky, you can see instantly what's happened. Oh, it's so beautiful. Without it, with it. And then I can maybe crank the width up more, all this stuff, love that. Now everything's blended in a little better. And of course we can do this top bar here. So if I throw the light wrap on there, we can actually just use the same light wrap we created for Laura. So Laura light wrap, bam. And you can see down here, if I turn it off, what's happened? It's made those bottom pixels blended into this background. Oh, so good. But let's try the platform. So if I take the platform, throw that effect on there, and I select loading hills, bam. Oh, love that. You can see right here, the edge got blended in a little better. I mean, it's hard to tell, but this instantly makes everything look way better and look more blended in. Love that. So that's with light wrap, look at that platform, without it, with it, without it. Oh, it's just a beautiful thing. And this is all compositing. Like this is what compositing it is. Taking a bunch of assets that don't belong together and making them look like they were shot in one single piece. Oh, I get so excited about it. So that is the plugin that's changed my life recently. Shout out Production Crate. Shout out Crate's Light Wrap. It's literally a free plugin. There's no excuse for anyone who shoots green screen stuff or even motion graphics to not use this. All right, let's go. Um, by the way, the main piece from this uh, thing that I'm animating is so freaking beautiful. It's on my Instagram. My favorite painter is Katsuki Hakusai. He was a famous Japanese painter from the 1800s. I reanimated seven of my favorite paintings of his into a video game piece. Yeah, so go check that out. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something. Comment down below with questions. And of course, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. <laughs>
From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you're a photographer and you want to display your work to the world in a professional way. You can do that with Squarespace. Once you sign up, you can put all of your photography work into their portfolios and galleries options, which uses award-winning designer templates to showcase your work. So when people come to your website, they can find your photography in the most beautifully packaged way, making you look really good. So photographers, sign up and put your work on Squarespace. Um, I think business people also love Squarespace because of the analytics. I just fell while I was saying that. They've got graphs and charts for people like as dumb as me to understand. You want to know who's coming to your website, buying your products, going to your connected social services? Sign up for Squarespace because their analytics are everything and help anybody with a business mind run their shit. And lastly, you can stay connected with Squarespace because they allow you to embed all of your other socials into their website. So if people want to find you on SoundCloud, they can do that. So put your SoundCloud in your Squarespace website. Are you a fashionista on Instagram? You can embed your Instagram into your website. So stay connected with Squarespace. When people come to your website, they'll be able to find you on every other platform. And I've got great news, of course. If you use squarespace.com slash willcarmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope everyone learned something today, and where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.